This fight is still an interesting one. Oh, my. Ubali's down for the third time. Mamma mia. It's over. History has been made. Father time, take a bow. At 38, in the twilight of his Hall of Fame career, can Donaire dance with death? one more time or will Ubali get an assist from father time it's time to find out <laughs> the bell and round number one the defending champion Nordin Ubali the southpaw in black with gold trim the challenger Nonito Donaire in blue with orange trim You know, Ubali, if we know he's a very clever boxer, but he has knocked out six of his last eight opponents. So he's a guy that brings some power and pop in there as well. Yeah, and expect Ubali to be active in those early rounds. He's a difficult fighter, especially on the left-hand side. You know, when you think about it, to have a Bantamweight champion at the age of 38 would previously have been almost incomprehensible. And here, Nonito Donaire has a chance to, to make history. Yeah, we should point out that uh, if he were to win tonight, he would join the list of current champions that among the oldest uh, in the sport. So we'll see if he can achieve that and make that list time. Right hand to the body by Donaire. Ubali avoiding the left hook and delivering a left to the body of his own. If you're Donaire, you will likely get some rounds up. You know, you want to figure out the opponent that you have in front of, in front of you. And I think Donaire is really smart of doing that. He wants to figure out the timing of this fighter. You mentioned it at the top of the telecast as Donaire gets backed up by the left hand of Ubali, but then does a good job of avoiding the other left hand. Leads with a right hand, but Abner, you know, at, at his age and after what transpired in Japan 18 months ago, you, you wonder if he left whatever he has left at the storied Saitama Super Arena, but countering here with a nice effective combination. But that was again 18 months ago when both of these fighters were last in the ring in Japan. He did talk about that. He did mention that he let his body heal. He feels good. He felt great in the gym. Feels powerful in this weight class. And again, you know, I can't say it enough. I think he should. He just as he's doing right now, take his time, figure out the opponent that he has in front of him. Dunair was very uh, adamant when we chatted with him about the fact that he feels like he understands, you know, he's fought three of the last seven fighters have been lefties. He said, but this camp, I feel like I really honed in on it. So it's a nice see. check left hook to the body by the veteran Donaire, four division champion. He's 11 and 1 at 118 pounds. His lone defeat coming in his last fight. That instant classic against the monster Naoya Inoue as we come to the end of round one of this bantamweight championship fight. The bell in round number two. Nice, sharp right hand to the body by Donaire. And again, that foot battle is going to be paramount. And how about this? Donaire averages 49 punches per round against righties and 39 against lefties. How many do you think he threw in that first round? 39. <laughs> exactly the amount he averages against lefties. And one thing that Donaire mentioned and s said, you know, which was really good, is that Ubali is such a textbook fighter, and fighters like him are so easy to predict. And as a counterpuncher that Donaire is, I think he is just waiting for the right time. You know what? Here he is. Two-decade career, 20th championship bout for Nonito Donaire. And a decade ago when he was a pound for pound stalwart with that patented left hook as Ubali coming forward and nice counter left hook by Donaire. See, I kind of disagree with Nonito on that one. I think that Ubali
he's not quite as predictable because not, it's not just his movement. He throws different kinds of combinations as he's coming in. So we'll see. He may be right. He may land a huge counter punch. We'll see. Another counter right hand scores for Donaire. Pumps out the jab. One thing that Ovali does, does right and wrong at the same time is he's such a great jabber, but he has a tendency of dropping that left hand. Yeah. That can cost him dearly if you know if he's catch with the left hook of Donito. Donito yeah. split the guard and good defense as well. Body movement avoiding the left hand of Ubali. Yeah, we saw a famous counter left hook from Donaire, and there it is right there mm -hmm. against Victor Chinian back in 2007. One of the all-timers. Yeah, and the, and and Abner's 100% right. You left that lay, left hand, that right hand to hang out there, and boy, Donaire will make you pay. And of course, he made Naoya Inouye pay, gave him a broken yeah. orbital bone, broken nose, was knocked down, and again, full value to Naoya Inouye for the victory. But boy, it definitely summoned the the inner warrior nonito donaire who again says that the layoff was good for him and yet we're going to have to wait and see just what transpires here again donaire countering with the right hand and it continues to be donaire effective with the counter guys yes this is the fight that donito wants it's not too much of a fast paced right just at the rhythm he wants and eats We talk about uh, Norino Donaire. Oh, nice lead left hook. He is his fourth fight here at the Punch Bowl. The first two fights in 2012 helped him become the 2012 Fighter of the Year. And here he is, almost a decade later, vying for another championship. It's really amazing. By the way, one of the voices in the corner with Donaire was his wife, Rachel, who he's really self-trained, yeah. in fact. Um, but has people at the gym helping him. But he Kenny just, Adams, one of them, an institution in the Yeah, world. yeah, you're right. Kenny Adams helps him there, and, but he is essentially self-trained, and uh, which is interesting. And meanwhile, Ubali, two-time Olympian, over 200 amateur bouts. You, you know why he became a fighter, though, guys? He's the 13th of 18 children. Something tells me uh, you needed to fight for everything in that house. Yeah. A minute gone here in the third as Ubali explodes with his leg. I, I could agree with that, Mo. I, you know, I come from 11, 11, 7, so <laughs> most of us were fighters. Oh, and beautiful left hand by Ubali. You know, I was going to say at the end of that last round that Ubali is, is fighting to find the range for his left. Yeah. He's got a very strong left, and he's done it in this round. And this is the time where Donaire has to use feints. He's got to feint a little bit to create traps. Uh, to, to for him to be able to land the power shots and you know Donaire obviously here at 38 past his physical prime But he thinks he recaptured his peak technical form due to his return to 118 and we've seen Glimpses of that again been very effective on the counterattack. Although as mentioned by Al Bernstein Ubali is is coming up That was a great uppercut by Ubali. Oh, and he tagged Donaire and Donaire comes back with a right yeah, you know, Donaire is cranking those counter punches. Ovali's been doing a better job of attacking, but oh, Donaire is ready with those counters every time. Oh, and the right hand lands after he missed oh. with the left uppercut and the left hook by Donaire. As Ubali backs up to the ropes, the veteran Donaire goes to the body with the right, right, left hook. And oh. Ubali is down! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to continue? Walk over there, come to me. No, Nito Donaire at 38 has just sent Nordino Bali down for the first time in his career here in round three. Are we on the cusp of history at the punch bowl? And the veteran, of course, Nonito Donaire. Methodical. And again, tags Ubali with the left hand. The left hook has been Donaire's calling.
Before the bell. Fourth round underway. Nonito Donaire sending Nordin Ubali to the canvas not once but twice. That was a great job by Jack Reese. Uh, I'm letting the goal of the fight continue as you know the round was pretty much over. Yeah, well, we saw him uh, again the, the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight, the dramatic knockdown of the 12th round. And here, he see him again giving Ubali a chance, and Ubali bouncing back pretty well so far here in the fourth. Remember, we talked about that uppercut from too far outside. That's exactly what Ubali did, and he was crunched with a counter punch because of it. And he he did stagger Donaire for a moment or two before he got hit with that other left hook that knocked him down. Th there was a punch before yeah. that uh, you know I noticed. That made Ubali, you know, step back, and then he got caught with the hook again and went down. Well, Donaire noticed something because he started yes, to he attack, did. and he usually doesn't do that. Again, lands with the left hook, straight right, another left hook, another right, and then Nordino Donaire tagging Nordino Ubali, oh. and another left hook and a right hand. And you see Mbali got that left hand in, but Donaire walked past that. This fight is still an interesting one. Oh, my. Oh, my. 